All right, let's buy Pep. 500 coins. Oh, that's magic, Figo. Figo, it's a tap in. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Pep. 500 coins for this new manager, this new version of Pep from the 13-14 season when he was with Bayern. He's going to give you a plus one to tight possession, as you see there as well, for all player stats. So this is going to apply to every single player that you have in your squad and your starting 11. And he also has 88 team play style proficiency with possession. Now, a few people have asked me about possession. I obviously play a good bit of possession football. One mistake people make, if you haven't watched my Xabi Alonso video, just because you're playing with Xabi Alonso doesn't mean you're focused on only playing quick counter or long ball counter if you're playing with Ten Hag. It also doesn't mean that with possession, you can't quicken up the pace. You can't kind of switch it up. Now, we're going to show you a couple of clips here. It's all about getting into positions. It's all about throwing an extra pass around and using the space. This is the only guy in the top 10 that is using Pep currently. The rest are using Alonso or Ten Hag, sticking with that quick counter or long ball counter meta. Possession is not meta. Possession is definitely a required taste. You still have your flat four at the back. You can switch that out with one other extra CB. But we've kind of replicated this by having that CB in Maldini there playing possession game. It's all about kind of using the ball, using the space, looking for the extra pass. I honestly think that possession improves you as a player. The problem is, is that the gameplay at the moment is just way too aggressive, way too simple to defend. And people that actually get kind of... When you tear somebody... Um, apart and you absolutely rip them apart and you tear them out of position you drag them out of position the game actually kind of reverts itself and it kind of you know it puts the stabilizers on a lot of the time for the opponents um, and I'm not saying that in a way that like you know we're playing some fantastic football or anything but you can see when the spacing has come down you really are swimming against the current if you are going to be playing possession because of one or two key uh, you know, impact the things that happen. Now, we're going to show you those things. We're talking about the individual instructions. This is just your basic kind of meta formation. Meta formation does not mean meta play style. There's a lot of different ways to play meta, um, but it is kind of the same kind of thing. 3CB, defensive on your destroyers. This is a must if you're playing possession, is putting defensive on your destroyer CB. So you have that aggression that you can manage a little bit more and you can also stick defensive and deep line on your DMF as well. This time we're playing with Anchorman right card. Obviously, you know, the better the players you have, the easier the systems become for you. But one mistake people do often make is that they don't really let um, the space be a factor in games because you don't really need to. But I definitely think for the future with the next update and going into the next kind of big gameplay tweaks, I think that we will get, we will get changes. Now again, I've reverted back here with the sub tactic to a 3-2-3-2 or a 3-5-2. You can modify this, you can make it a 3-4-3, you can drag out a little bit of width and have Musiala or an extra player like Messi in that SS role and then bring on a traditional center forward to be a target man. You still have your double pivot, the CMF and DMF. You have your three center backs, you've got two destroyers backing up a build up a Saliba there as well. And these are all interchangeable. I think this is probably the most fun formation you could play with possession at the moment. But this is the problem, right? So the one thing that I will talk about, I'm going to go into in a little bit more detail, is going to be the defensive line and how defensive you are with possession game, which is probably the most attacking formation in the game without wide. This is a big problem, or quick counter, sorry. This is a big problem, right? Out wide and quick counter and long ball counter, they're the three most used ones, right? Or possession game, sorry, forget about out wide for a minute. But this is the big problem when you're defending with possession game. Look how high your defensive line is here. Now, when you see this in real time, we'll show you a clip in a second, this is actually quite a scary thing to have in the game now because of so many players that are 100 overall and the speed of the game is frightening at the moment if you are playing possession. You compare that with long ball counter and it doesn't take a genius to figure out why some people are still using Ten Hag. Some people in the top 50 are still using Ten Hag for that long ball counter again we'll have that quick little comparison here right in game now we're going to break this down this is what i like about possession game you've got your little triangles all over the pitch you but you have got a lack of uh, cover at the back you're very high pushed up you kind of play like pep in real life you know it's all about retaining possession not getting caught in the counter Again, this is kind of how you need to be different in thinking how you're doing it. Most people would play that ball into Ronaldinho there, but it's all about retaining the pass and triggering different runs from the AI. That's kind of where you need to go. We want Ronaldinho to loop around and back into this position here, and we want to just retain the possession until then. So that's exactly what we do. This is very hard to do now. You won't be able to do it at such a regular clip. 
because the AI is super, super, super aggressive. But we do get the space in, we drag him all out of position, and then we've got a massive gap in the middle. And if you're not able to kind of get shots off like this instead of walking the ball in, then that is basically something that you need to learn along the way with your journey in eFootball. Now, this is more of a comparison directly with long ball counter versus possession game, right? Deep defense with long ball counter, you're going to see how deep you are back and then with the possession game, look how high you are. It's a high risk, high reward, and there's tons of space for your opponent to run into, as you see here. Look at the little radar there. We've got lots of space there that if this guy does break, he's practically in on goal. And that's how you'll concede most goals is on the counter. Again, this is just a very simplified breakdown. Long ball counter, deep defense, AI closes the space in the box, and they're going to be very compact. This is possession game. This is with Pep. High line, high risk, reward, and lots of space, as we just mentioned. But you can see the push-up when you have possession of the ball. It can be quite hard to get used to, especially if you're used to playing with long ball counter for a long time. If you've played with quick, quick counter for a good while, you'll be used to the spacing. You'll be used to when to switch and manual. But possession is, as I said, all about retaining the ball, mixing in a little bit of, you know, let's call it what it is, ping pong passing. You have to do that to, tr you know, to get the space. But it's all about dribbling, slowing the play down, bursts, and pretty much kind of walking the ball in and passing the ball into the net. Uh, it's not as direct as quick counter or long ball counter in terms of your runs. That is down to the runs that the AI make. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. It's all about spreading it out. It's all about spacing. Trust me on this, lads, with the current gameplay, the way it is at the moment. You won't get massively rewarded for playing possession. It is kind of something that you can get away with for a certain while. And if you are a really good player at the game, you can dominate opponents. But just because you dominate somebody, it doesn't mean that you're always going to score because there is such a chaos in the box. Long ball counter and quick counter when people are using individual instructions like I showed you, defensive, all that sort of stuff, it can overcompensate for a lot of the issues with other formations. Um, and possession is not as aggressive going forward as quick counter, but it has all the frailties of quick counter defensively. So I still think long ball counter is probably the go-to for most people, unless you are a really, really good uh, finisher up front if you get a chance with Xabi Alonso, or you want to play with Pep and play a little bit of spacing. And as I said, don't fall into the trap of seeing somebody using Pep and not think that they'll do one quick touch passing or through the ball, uh, through little triangles and through the middle and all that. A good player will link in three to four different play styles throughout the course of a match, if you're evenly matched. So that's just to keep in mind. Is he worth the 500 coins? I can't answer that really, because I do feel that it depends how much value you put on the 500 coins. But it's an interesting, an interesting manager, and I definitely think that they will buff possession in the near future. Until the next time, lads, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of these videos as well. I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe.